first of all, if you recall, President Trump uh, did, did, wasn't too happy with me, did a tweet uh, you know, about uh, someone running against me in a primary. So obviously, I must have said something he didn't, didn't, didn't like. Um, but Laura, I have faith in the system. And, and throughout this, I've asked people to have faith, faith in our court system. Some people have said, oh, you know, it's terrible. They're filing lawsuits. They have a right to file lawsuits. You, I, I think you either have faith in the system or you don't have faith in the system. I have I, I've said throughout this, we need to have faith in our judicial system. We need to have faith in our electoral system, the mechanism that works. And the good news from yesterday is that the Constitution uh, prevailed and people follow the Constitution in spite of a, a, a mob. Um, look, I, I get critics on, on both sides. You should have seen my, uh, uh, you know, I get email yesterday shortly after I issued my statement. So we got people who don't like what I do. I understand that. Uh, but what I have cautioned people all the way through and what I've said is trust the system. And again, that goes back to my history, my experience throughout my life. My experience throughout my life has been that the political system works. Uh, I don't like it. I've lost two elections. I didn't like that. Um, I've had presidential candidates lost. I didn't like that. But the system works, and we have to trust the system. But we also have to just trust the judicial system. And what I've said is let it play out. If there are allegations, when President, when Trump supporters had allegations that there was fraud, et cetera, et cetera, okay, the answer is take it to court, prove it. Not that the, not, you shouldn't say, oh no, the courts are closed, you can't go into the court. No, go into court. So I trust, I trust the system. Now, the 25th Amendment, um, that, as you know, is really activated, uh, one way it's activated by the vice president. And when this was written, um, it wasn't written that long ago, um, I think the belief was that if there was a situation where the vice president and members of the cabinet felt because of what they were seeing up close and personal, uh, that there was a huge problem, they had to have, they had some mechanism and the law had not, the constitution had not provided really that clear mechanism for them before. This provides them with that mechanism. So they are the ones who are the closest. They are the ones who would know when that would be appropriate. I would simply say though, that we're down to 13 days, if my math is right, until the new president takes office, 12 noon, January 20th. And invoking the 25th amendment, uh, I, I think, uh, and again, this is something that people close to it, they, they have to make those decisions in any presidency. But invoking that is something that we would not want to see happen uh, because once again, uh, I think that would stoke the fires of people who believe there's a conspiracy. And I think it would, it would lessen faith in, in, our, in our system. So I'm not close to it, can't make that judgment call, but just as a matter of, the, for the good of the country, that seems to me to be something that would cause more division than healing. And we should be at a time now for healing. 